How's it going, guys? It's by TCG here, and we are doing our 10th episode of Hunting for Starlight. So we thought we'd do something kind of different. We're going to do Battle of Chaos, but we're going to do the Japanese version. Um, where's my next weapon right here? Um, I was trying to get something cool for us to open, and uh, obviously there are some like really cool sets. Like We opened up Horizon Rampage already, but there's just no other cards in it because they've just all been either reprinted or the sets are just way too expensive to buy for me. Obviously, for some people, it wouldn't be a problem, but, you know, for me. Oh, my God, I forgot about. Wait, what? What the heck is this? Is that a token? I've, I've never opened up a uh, Japanese box before, so this is very new to me. Um, obviously, there is starlights in here they're called prismatic secret rares uh, i don't know what the ratio is to pull them so i think they're a little higher actually than what we get so it'll be interesting to see how we do and obviously don't rec don't expect me to know all their names i always get a floundery super rare which i don't think super rares are guaranteed in korean or in japanese so that's actually a decent start. But I still don't know all the names of all of these. Let me adjust my mic a little bit. Hold on. Need to get a new mic eventually too. Um, but I also Lady of Lament. I do know that one. But again, I won't know them all. Yeah, like I thought. That's a Dinomorphia card. Don't remember the name of it, though. Yeah, Supers are not guaranteed in every pack. Uh, I do think you get a guaranteed ultimate, though. Maybe not. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be a lot like the Korean. Oh, Dark Charmer. Oh, my God. What is the name of that card? It's a very expensive Starlight. Magic Rebo. It's so much harder to remember their names when you, you know them, like you've seen them a bunch of times in English, but to remember their name for Korean, or for when you're opening up Japanese, it can be very difficult. But nothing in that pack. I don't know how many supers we're supposed to get. Well, obviously, in the US, or in TCG, you get one in every single pack, unless you get an ultra rare or something. That would take its slot. Oh my god, that is such a sick ultimate. Guardian Chimera Ultimate Rare. That actually might have some decent value. That's actually really sick. I've not pulled this card in English yet. Well, obviously, I have a whole case of this to still open. Which I know is going to be kind of late when I do it. But I want to be able to do a live stream. And my equipment just isn't uh, consistent enough to do that yet. But that is an awesome Ultimate Rare. I think you only get one i don't know maybe you get two i don't know we'll find out obviously today but hunting for stars episode 10 is starting off kind of good i mean obviously it's not a starlight rare but vampire ghost it's an ultra for us to Myus. that was surprised me that it was a rare for them i actually knew that from pr looking up this set when it was it's not out for, yet for us i'm like to is a rare Come on, it's got to be an, at least an ultra. But again, for them, it was just a rare card. But honestly, we're on a good start. That's a good ultimate, so that's very cool. Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon, nice. And that's an ultra rare for us. This is a super rare for us. I wonder how many super rares we get. I mean, do we get the same amount? Because... This has more packs, so obviously it's bigger than a um, English box of this. So maybe we still get the same amount of super rares. Dictator, or not Dictator. Is that Dictator D? I always get that mixed up with the other one. But hopefully we can pull a cool secret rare today as well. Maybe even a prismatic. Because technically we're doing Hunting for Starlights, but they're technically called Prismatic Secrets in um, the OCG. So it's kind of... 
I'm not saying cheating because it's still they're they're hard to pull. Not as hard, but um, skilled brown. Mag- no, that's something brown magician, I think. Um, but they're technically called extra prismatic secret rares. And then they're extra secret rares if it's Korean. And then there's starlight rares for us in the uh, TCG. Vampire Ghost again. What are we super as you get? We pulled four. So we have four supers so far. I wonder how many we will pull though. I also wonder if we can pull another ultimate because I really hope we can, but I won't be surprised if they're one per box. I'm trying to remember the, what the ratio was on the um, Dimension Force Korean box I opened. They should be very similar um, pull rates. Or I thought that was something special, but it's not. It's going to be fun when we do finally open this um, whole case that I have of this which I mean I don't know how many people are going to actually want to watch it because it's an older set but we can hunt for starlights and I assume we can hunt for that 25th anniversary shark magician for our second copy so if you haven't seen it we did pull it actually in a different episode of this but I have a whole playlist of hunting for starlight rares so definitely worth looking at if you haven't seen all the episodes and this is episode 10 for anyone that's uh, if I didn't, I've said it a couple times probably not already in the video, but we're in episode 10. It's been a very fun, um, uh, uh, series for me. Probably my favorite. I really like the core sets. We also we've got a lot more coming, obviously. Oh my god, we pulled a sh- I don't know the ratios on this. Are these- They are not one per box. I'm almost positive they're not one per box. How do I not know the name of this card? Oh my god. What? I can't, that's hilarious though. What is the name of this card? I can't remember. It's not Ice Jade, right? No, that's a different card. Oh my god, we pulled- <laughs> So I don't know if I want to count this, but I mean- it's a prismatic secret rare. Same rarity as Starlight. I can't believe we actually pulled one. I, they, I don't think they're one per box. And now I'm wondering, are they one per box? I didn't pull one in my Korean box, though. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. That actually might be pretty good. I don't think it's going to have a ton of value because I don't think it's a very valuable card. Chaos Nethys on Ultra. Nice. Um... But I can't believe we actually pulled one. Obviously, I'm not counting as our first Starlight because it's not, you know, in the TCG. It's secondary Prismatic Secret Rare. But it's still fun. If I knew we were going to pull one, man, I would have. Oh, my God. I can't believe I don't know the name of that one. That's another super. I forget the name. That's like zombie something. Oh my god. I really need to get better at this. A card I really want to pull today because I've not pulled it also in English is um, a mag- Illusion Magician. God, am I going to know the name of that card today? Is that how bad it's going to be today? Illusion of Chaos. <laughs> name of the card. I was like, oh my god. Please don't tell me I'm going to forget that name too. So we've not pulled that in English either. Another ultra. Rare. Okay. So this is an ultra in. So we pulled the starlight and the ultra rare. That's actually pretty sick. Or the extra. Or prismatic secret rare. And ultra. So it. Oh my god. How do I not know the name of that card? How many ultra has we pulled now? Three? I think three. Um, a 
I wonder if he'll still pull a Seeker Rare. Oh, Dynamorphia Thrizia. It's a much higher rarity card in, uh, in our in the TCG. It can be a Starlight or it's a Seeker Rare. So much, much more desirable for us than a Super. That's Stealth Bird, yeah, right? I'm trying to remember all the Dynamorphia cards, too. I think that's a super rare for us. Oh, white relic of dogmatic or something. I really wonder what that card's gonna be worth though, that prismatic secret. I could be seeing it worth absolutely like nothing. I could also see it being worth quite a bit, so. Oh boy's jet. So I wonder if we're not going to pull a Seeker Rare, which is fine. He pulled the Prismatic Secret. Vampire Ghost. We just skipped a bunch of cards. So, no, we did not pull a Seeker Rare, but we obviously pulled a Prismatic Seeker Rare. <sighs> I would have been more hyped if I could honestly remember. Because I'm just, I, when, I, when I pulled it, I just could honestly, one, couldn't believe it. And two, I was just trying to remember the name of it don't know the name off the top of my head but i do know the ultimate we pulled which was guardian chimera which is a very good card as well this is like a 50 dollar card in um uh the tcg obviously it's only a secret rare also if it was an ultimate rare printing it'd be ridiculous but we actually had a pretty good uh episode 10 i'm glad we opened this this is a cool set we might open up more of this because obviously you still pull a lot of other cool cards i'll run through these real quick how many ultras do we pull Pull three. So we pulled three ultras and a bunch of super rares. That was just a regular rare. But yeah, that was pretty sick. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I sure did. That was really cool. And uh, like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content coming soon. Have a nice day.